Guys, today I'm taking a look at something a little bit different. This is the Eric Hill ER02 EMF detector. The what? Find out in just a few seconds. What's up YouTube? Dave here with Scene for a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon so you could be notified of new videos. So guys, yes, this is the Eric Hill ER02 EMF detector. Now, if you don't know Eric Hill, well, they make a ton of different devices to measure and monitor a whole host of different things, including air quality, temperature, and EMF, and a lot more. So what the heck is this EMF all about? Well, EMF is electromagnetic interference. It's a kind of radiation. And let me tell you, we are surrounded by it. Nearly every electronic device you have in your home or work or wherever emits EMF. The trick is knowing how much and are the levels dangerous. Now, before we get into it, Eric Hill reached out to me and asked me to take a look at this ER02 EMF detector in exchange for my honest review. And you know, guys, that whatever I review, you're always gonna get my honest opinion, good, bad, or indifferent. So before we get into it, let's get this unboxed and see what we have. Now, guys, opening the box up, it's all pretty straightforward. We've got some instructions. We've got a micro USB cable. Hmm micro USB. What happened to USB-C? Okay, I'm sure that will come in another version. Never mind. It's not a big deal. I think, you know, it'd be nice if everything moved to USB-C because, you know, we're just carrying around tons of cables. But you know what? It is what it is. But never mind. And guys, of course, we have the detector itself. Now, taking a look around at this detector, well, it's really light. It feels good in the hand. It's all plastic and it's got some rubber on the sides and on the bottom. And we've got that micro USB socket. On the front, we've got a large LCD screen and we have some buttons which control power on and off, unit switching, a hold function, average or peak values, a graph and sound. Oh. And you can also switch modes because this ER02 can be used to measure electric fields, magnetic fields, and radio frequency. So let's give it a bit of a test and see what we find around the house and in the studio. First off, guys, I'm going to put this detector up to the heating thermostat. Now, as I flick through the modes, I get to electric interference, then I get to magnetic interference, and these are both registering, whereas radio frequency, well, there isn't really anything. Now, pop it up to my mobile phone, and the electric frequency is high. Not much, but you know, it's there. Um, and then you've also got a little bit of magnetic, and it's quite low for radio, even when I'm making a call. Now, pop over to the microwave oven, and electric and magnetic and radio are all pretty high. You can also flick through various displays. So you have graphs over time, a meter type view, or the standard view, and you can see all of that as average, maximum, or peak value. Oh, and there's also a hold button so you can move the device away from what you're measuring and see the values. Now guys, you can walk around the house and find tons of things to measure, which could lead you to discover faulty appliances, bad wiring, and a lot more. Oh, and just to note guys, that don't worry, not all EMF radiation is the same. In fact, there are three different kinds of electromagnetic radiation. You've got natural, low frequency, and high frequency. Now, natural EMF is really just what it sounds like. It's naturally occurring. Natural EMF frequencies can come from different phenomena, a buildup of electricity in the atmosphere, which normally comes from things like thunderstorms and the Earth's natural magnetic field. Low frequency EMF comes from things like power transformers, high voltage cables, and lots of home appliances. And 
High frequency EMF frequencies usually come from things like modern communication equipment like mobile phones, Wi-Fi routers, laptops and stuff like that. Guys, EMF measurement equipment like this ER02 is the easiest way and the most cost effective way to detect the radiation around us. Remember guys, radiation is completely invisible. You can't see it, smell it, taste it, sense it, whatever. You kind of need something like this. And long-term exposure can cause damage to equipment. So it's important that we're able to detect EMF levels. And guys, if we can find and avoid areas of high EMF, then we can prevent those risks. So it's a good thing, right? For around 50 pounds or something like that, it's worth it. Dangerous levels of radiation can exist in the home, work, school, wherever. It's important to keep these devices close to hand, especially in places that use lots of electrical equipment and use these things to figure out if there are abnormally high levels of electromagnetic radiation. So guys, lecture over. This just about wraps it up. This ER02 EMF detector from Eric Hill is an easy way to check out how much EMF your devices and appliances are generating and to stay safe. If you have any comments or questions and leave them in the comments section below, I'll leave any product descriptions and any discount codes in the description. And guys, if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really does make a difference. And if you'd like to see more of my content, then please subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Thanks to you guys for watching. Thanks to Eric Hill for sending me this very cool and usable device to review. I'm Dave with Seeing Through a Lens and I will see you the next time. Bye for now.